I need uh, oneness. And, 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 and uh, oneness uh, is, is all we hear, and I love what you're talking about, about deprogramming and all of that, but all we hear in the media is Dame Dash financially has taken a major hit, but you got a real establishment going over there. How is this funded? By me hustling every fucking day out my pocket. That's how it's funded. But, you know, there's something called residual income. You have to invest in things that yield later. So I've made the right investments, and I hustle every day. And, yeah, I can say I, I definitely put about a million dollars a year into this. But there's other businesses that I'm always putting money into. Yeah, I'm the one that puts that out that I'm broke. You feel me? I could change the narrative anytime I want. But I don't. I don't give a fuck. I'm broke. You can say that all you want, but I'm going to always have some money in the concrete and I can squeeze that shit and some money juice is going to come out anytime I feel like it. You understand what I'm saying? No the question. With being, the thing about being an entrepreneur is you have to be all right with going broke because you invest everything, but that's not broke. To a slave, it's broke. They say that so everyone's scared to do things on their own. Who the fuck is holding money anyway? All they're going to do is take it. I just put my money into things. I, I'm not buying a car. I got cars, but I'm going to buy some cameras. I'm going to hire an editor. You know, I got, I have employees. Nigga, you know what a million dollars of overhead is in your motherfucking year? Now, name one year they said I was broke. I didn't have a whole building. And my kids didn't go to private school. You know what I mean? Or didn't have a nanny. Just tell me. And that's all that counts. As long as my kids ain't broke, I'm good. That's what it means. They, I could be broke, but my kids is rich. That's all that matters. Question for you. You've been rich since your 20s. Millionaire. You yeah. made your first million in your 20s, correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. And I wasn't rich, but I've been happy. That's why I've been rich. Oh, I love that. I love that. What would you do differently today? Obviously, you was young. You was brash. You was out there. What have you learned along the way that you can help an entrepreneur today trying to come up who will hit it big? A couple of years for a second. Um, don't make your wife the manager of the company. That's what you can't do. That's the best problem. <laughs> that one thing is the one. That's the only thing I do different. That's the only thing you would do different. Yeah, it's it's, the, it's putting making whoever has control of the company on paper. Okay, here's another question. You talked about being selfless earlier. And, and, and you ha you're a man who has a lot of principles, obviously. But you went into business with people who seemed like they wasn't as loyal to you as you was to them. Would you change that? No, that's the test. The Would test of someone that loves is if, if you're going to keep loving after people rob you. So the bottom line is every time somebody does me a disjustice, I feel like they do that to themselves because I'm in their life anymore. And the test for me is, will I keep loving people despite the fact that people don't know how to love back? The answer is that's not even a test. I don't know how to exist without loving. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what that means. Yeah. That means that the yeah. test is when people rob you, will you keep caring about people despite that? Wow. And that's my test. And my test gets passed because it's not a test at all. All my whole business model is based on love and helping people. And I know that makes me feel good. And that's why love always protects me. That's the currency that people don't understand that counts. Love is all that matters. Got you. Got you. Speaking of love, it really seemed like you loved your boy Kanye. You fought for him early. When this nobody be the last question because I got a zoom. No, no okay. disrespect. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, you, you fought for Kanye when nobody believed in him. I but, fought for everybody when nobody believed in him. True story. But he decided to go the other way when the rock blew up. The other way, he did just fine. So y'all don't understand what chess is and not checkers. We just play chess. That's all. And I'm going to leave it at that. All right, man. I appreciate your time, Dame. I appreciate you. Like I said, you're family to my family, so you're family to me. Uh, thank you. Let me know when it comes out. I'll post it up and all that. No, nah, I will. Where can people find you? Uh, Dusko Poppington on IG. Go to Dame Dash Studios for the streaming service. DTV, 24 hours for the 24-hour network. And uh, Poppington for the clothing on uh, IG. And uh, that's about it, really.
What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.